Hey, this Judge and Waits bringing you some hardcore domination. I had a request from somebody asking me to get away from the TDM and get into some domination. Now, normally, I prefer playing core domination to hardcore domination, but the person that requested it wanted to see some hardcore domination, so here you go. Now, I want to talk about class setups in this video. I want to get your input. If you're new to this game, I'll probably give you uh, some suggestions on what type of classes and what perks to run. But I know a lot of you guys had a lot more experience than I do, especially in Hardcore Domination. So I wanted to pick your brains about some things and talk about some perks and some assault streaks that I like to use and maybe some that you can recommend. So getting right into it though. For my perks, I'm running Dead Silence, Sit Rep, Amplify, Blind Eye, and Hardline. Now let's skip Hardline. Don't even worry about that. But I really like Blind Eye. You see a lot of people running the IMS Sentry Guns and also pulling out the Oracles when you're playing domination gameplay so for that reason alone you know i like running that plus if somebody pulls up a helo pilot or a griffin you're not going to be as noticeable you're not going to be highlighted in that orange so i really like that perk for that reason now dead silence and amplify i'm the type of player if we have two flags i like to go and hang around at the enemy flag and try to pick people off that are spawning around there so that really helps keep me concealed now sit rep of course i don't like running into i IEDs, but I'm thinking about changing that and actually running Blast Shield instead of Sit Rep. Now, normally I like running sit rep because I have that TDM mentality. I want to see where people are camping out. I want to know which direction the enemy is. And if I can see an IED or some piece of equipment, that's going to tip me off. But that's not as important when you're playing objective type games. So I'm thinking, you know, I don't have to worry about the IMS. I don't have to worry about the sentry guns. If I have blast shield on, I don't have to worry about the IEDs as much. So I'm thinking that might be a nice combination. Plus, I really like the idea of running the blast shield because a lot of times when I jump on a flag especially in hardcore game modes people love to throw those thermal bear grenades and take you out you know if you've seen my video you know just how crazy the blast radius is on those bad boys in hardcore so that's why I'm thinking about running blast shield instead of sit rep as long as I pair it with blind eye but let me know what you guys think about that let me know if that makes sense or if you have a suggestion on what you like to run as far as perks now the other thing that i'm thinking about is a lot of times people are using uh tracker scopes and of course thermals so i'm thinking about trying to incorporate into their incog now the thing is it's a three point perk and i'm not sure what i can drop because i like all those other perks so i don't know let me know what you think about that as well now let's move on to kill streaks. I got four different things that I want to run past you. All right, if you're running assault streaks, and there's a dog taking me out on a nice long kill streak that I was on. Oh, that one burned me up. But I've got four different recommendations that I want to give you. All right, first up, assault streak number one. I like running the IMS sentry gun and hind. Two of those things are great at trying to help you hold a flag and you can kind of keep people off of those flags sometimes unless they're running blind eye of course or sit rep and they take it out. But the IMS and sentry gun, those things are gonna really help you out. And then the hind is just something that's gonna fly around and get some kills for you. All three things I like because you can just kind of call them in and then just forget about them. So that's one option. It lets you just run around the map. You don't have to worry about anything. You know, you just put them down. The second option, I'm running the Trinity Rockets, the Griffin, and the Helo Pilot. That's going to help you rack up some kills if you can get to it, which, you know, usually it's a little bit easier getting these higher score streaks in Domination and other objective type games. You have to be a little bit careful about grabbing the flags. If I'm running the IMS Sentry Gun and Helo Pilot, I love jumping on every flag that I can. I just kind of really go for it. Or if I'm running support, I'll do that as well. If I'm running these higher score streaks, you have to be a little bit careful about what flags you actually go for. So, you know, this might not be the best thing to run because I really like encouraging people to be objective when they're playing objective type games. There's nothing, you know, that makes me mad when I see that guy go 15-0 and he had zero caps or something like that. You know, that just burns me up. So, you know, I don't know. This is what I'm running though. I do grab some flags. You know, you just gotta be a little bit careful and really time 
time some things. But those are the two assault streak options that I like to run. Also, too, you can run support. You know, if you're running SATCOM, VESS, Oracle, you're really going to help your team out a lot, especially when playing Domination. You might want to drop the SATCOM and run something fun so you're having something fun like uh, the Shield Mate or something like that. But definitely, if you're the type of player that struggles to put together those kill streaks, definitely consider running support ones. Now, of course, the other option that you have is to run specialist and become that one-man Rambo and just take everybody on with your gun. Now, for me, I can see specialists and core game modes. In hardcore game modes, it just does not work for me. I struggle to put those long kill streaks together and stay alive, probably because I'm a little bit too aggressive and you have to be super patient in hardcore if you're running specialist. So it just doesn't work for me. But if you're the type of player that can hang back, that might be a great way to get a KEM strike or something like that. But let me know what you guys think. I know some of you guys are domination specialists and you guys know a lot more than I do. So tell me what you like to run. The other thing too is, you know, it really depends on the team that you are playing with and how well they're doing. I'm running with three new people on my team in this gameplay and there's two new people on the other side. So we were pretty evenly matched. We also, both sides had a really strong objective type player. Hats off to the guy that was on my team that grabbed seven flags. I love playing with those guys. But you know, my kind of point about this is you have to read your team. And of course you have to read the team that you're playing with. There's so many times that my team is and doing something so I try and fill that role and kind of adapt my play style you know if you're just worried about your KD I guess you don't have to worry about that but if you want the win you're probably gonna have to adapt your play style somewhere in the game it's amazing how fast these games can shift but that's all I got to say you know of course teamwork is huge and unfortunately with the Xbox one a lot of people don't have mics so it's really frustrating right now but hopefully they'll get that sorted but I think I went 54 and forward let me know what you think about this also to remember if you are a domination specialist i would really love your feedback and love to know what you guys do as always though take care and god bless hey if you like that video make sure you check out these other two over in the left hand side i've got a 39 and 5 where i do a map breakdown of prison break and over on the right hand side i give you a nice smg class setup using the mtar x and i also tell you how you can get involved in sacred if you don't know what sacred is make sure you check out that video